these words put by Allah on his mouth. So he was sitting in the masjid, a young boy came, get up and pray. Tahiyatul Masjid, how many times was in? He shouts, he screams. That's why Rasul said, a lot of people, they will not be getting. Brothers, still I can see the gap in the middle. Please, if we can fill up the gaps. Jazakallah. Still we have a gap. Some brothers are coming. It's not about just brothers. They are coming. The adab of the masjid, we should sit together as much as we can. Since there is no restriction at the moment, so we should close, sit close with each other the way we stand in salah. So similarly, when we sit down, listen the bayan, so this is the adab that we should, there should not no gap. Jazakumullah khairan. How are you brothers? After Ramadan, before Ramadan. You know, sometimes we see pictures before and after. So before and after. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. I know Ramadan is Ramadan. No one can compete with Ramadan. Allah Akbar, but you know, Alhamdulillah, we have the opportunity, we have health, we have energy, and this is the time of shukr that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed all of us the month of Ramadan. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enabled us to pray taraweeh, recitation of the Quran, fasting, generosity, you know, controlling our anger, mashallah, qualities, it is called qualities. And keep in mind the value or the status of this believer increases in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the more he has qualities. It's not about he's from India and Pakistan and Afghanistan and Australia and Canadian and this citizen and this citizen. Yes, these are here to just recognize each other, but the status in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala goes with qualities. And, and normally I give the example with the cars. So we have new car, we have old car. Both of the cars will take us to the destination. But the new car has more futures. That's why the price is very high compared to the old car. Because more futures, back camera and sunroof and leather seats. So the price of the believer goes with the qualities. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the qualities of the people of Jannah. Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala counting their qualities in the Quran. Believers are those, the people of Jannah are those who swallow their anger, who control their anger, who forgive people and not only forgive, they give favors to others. So these are the qualities. And then Surah Al-Mu'minun, قَدْ أَفْلَحَ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ الَّذِينَ هُمْ فِي صَلَاتِ مُخَاشِعُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about their salat. Their salat is very, very uh, like a with consult, consultation and devotion. And they are the ones who perform, who give zakat. They are the ones who, who are not indulged in useless talk. And they are the ones who protect their modesty. And then Allah says in the end, 
ulaika hum yarisun al firdaus they are the inheritors of firdaus they are the real owners of jannat al firdaus so may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us qualities sahaba they had qualities you know they don't have long speeches in their life alhamdulillah speech and talk about the deen of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is important but it more goes with qualities you know the more we you and i have qualities allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will increase our status in his mubarak court brothers you know after ramazan you know i i, I share with my friends and musalli sometime that after ramazan we notice the gap we notice the we 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 notice feelings that something is missing it's not car it's not money but something is missing i'm not feeling well same words you have same words i have all of us i'm not feeling well then i don't know what's going on and that feeling is called ruhani is spiritual feelings the feelings of quran the feelings of qiyamul layl gone but this should not be the case this should not be the case and keep in mind our elders our ulama ma shaykh they say ramazan is the month of training ramazan was the month of training just one month 30 days but the rest 11 months they are waiting for you and in ramazan you know the most thing made us to practice was the environment most of us we practice quran all good deeds because of the environment environment was created in ramazan either is quran sakhawat generosity salat you name it all the good deeds were there because of the environment that's why our elders ulama ma shaykh they recommend keep yourself in the environment keep yourself in the environment and the example let me give you the example look at the son of nu alayhi salam he was the son of nu alayhi salam but he was not in an in an environment and what was his last destiny what was his last destination allah subhanahu wa ta'ala clearly mentioned in the quran that this person was the person of fire though he was a son of nu alayhi salam and look at that i was reading today and then i realized look at the dog animal dirty animal dog but allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give him the form of human being to this dog and allah will make him enter to jannah according to some ulama because of the environment he was in the environment who dog such a dirty animal so again this is very important for all of us to keep ourselves in the environment inshallah inshallah yes keep yourself in the environment otherwise it will be very difficult to maintain the flow to maintain the energy which you and i got in ramadan it will be very difficult and the best places to maintain the environment to maintain our iman are the masajid please you know i was telling someone in the office you know someone shared it on whatsapp is it ramazan done or muslims are done because we don't see any muslim anymore <laughs> ramazan is done we understand but where are muslims so this should not be the case you know alhamdulillah we have this 11 months So inshallah let me just quickly go with this mubarak you know the salat allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the quran inna salata tanha anil fahsha'i wal munkar that this salat will stop you from all shameful acts second thing i want to go with this very important point you know allah you know the tawfiq the ability it comes from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but sometimes we we misunderstand the word tawfiq or the definition 
of Tawfiq or the explanation of Tawfiq, we misunderstand. You ask someone, brother, let's go for Salat, let's go for good deeds. Make dua, brother. Allah will give me Tawfiq, I will do it. The definition of Tawfiq that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala puts something good in your heart. This is the Tawfiq. That's it. You have energy, you have money, you have car, you have all the means to perform that action. This is called Tawfiq. So now the Sheikh is saying here, very important point, that one time, basically he's saying, try to understand sometimes things through signs. Allah Ta'ala is not present here, but Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala put his signs in the world to understand Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. And I already shared with you in the tafsir, in Surah al -Ghashia, Allah said to, people of Arab, because they were not Muslims at that time, most of them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, أَفَلَا يَنْظُرُونَ إِلَى الْإِبِلِ كَيْفَ خُرِقَتْ وَإِلَى السَّمَاءِ كَيْفَ رُفِعَتْ وَإِلَى الْجِبَالِ كَيْفَ نُصِبَتْ وَإِلَى الْأَرْضِ كَيْفَ سُطِحَتْ So Arabs, most of them, they were grazing their animals with, most of them were camels. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala started with the sign of camels. Don't you see camels? How Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created them? Don't you see the sky? How Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created it? Don't you see the earth? How Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made this earth carpet for you? These are called signs. Silent signs. So let me tell you one, two beautiful short of time. Imam Abu Hanifa rahimahullah. You know, by mistake during Hajj, he stepped on, uh, on the young boy too, by mistake. So the young boy said to him, don't you have fear of Allah? Don't you have fear of Allah? Why are you stepping on my foot by mistake? The moment that boy, he said to Imam Abu Hanifa, rahimahullah, those words, don't you have fear of Allah? Imam Abu Hanifa rahimahullah fainted on the spot. Fainted on the spot. After some time, his students asked him, Hazrat, Sheikh, why did you take so serious young boy words? He was a young boy. Don't mind him. Don't mind his words. So Imam Abu Hanifa rahimahullah, he said that, listen, he said, don't you fear Allah? When he said those words, I realized, I thought about it, that these words put by Allah on his mouth. These words were put by Allah on his mouth. So basically, I feared Allah on that spot when he said to me. Second, Imam Malik, rahimahullah, his school of thought, he said, after Asr, when you come to Masjid, when there is an Asr time, you cannot press Tahiyatul Masjid. Difference of opinion amongst giant Imams. Imam Hanifa, Imam Shafi, Imam Malik, Imam Ahmad, Rahimahumullah, Alihi Majma'in. Difference of opinion. So he was sitting, now keep in mind, this is his inclination, that after Asr Salat, there is no salah, there is no nafil. But according to Imam Shafi'i rahimahullah, he said, no, there is, you can pray. And both of them, they quoted hadith. So he was sitting in the masjid, a young boy came. Be with me. A young boy came. He, he didn't know this is Imam Malik rahimahullah. He said, Shaykh, get up. Pray Salat, Tahiyatul Masjid. I noticed you, you came in the Masjid and you sat down. You didn't pray, Tahiyatul Masjid, get up. And he got up and he performed two rakat Tahiyatul Masjid. His student asked him, Hazrat, please clarify, did you change your school of thought? Did you change the rulings? He said, no, I didn't change anything. I'm still on same stance that after Asr Salat, no Nafil Salat. No Nafil Salat. So then, why did you pray? 
No, these are very highlighted verbs. Be with me, brothers. You know what he said? Allahu Akbar. He said, when the boy came to me and he said, get up and pray. Tahiyatul Masjid. He said that his reminder reminded me the ayat of the Quran. What is the ayat of the Quran? When they are told to bow before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they don't bow. So I don't want to come in the category of that ayat. When they are told to do sajda in the ruku before Allah, they don't. Please, this is humble regard. You understand the ayat? They are told to make sajda. They are told to make ruku. Mean, pray salat. And they don't respond. How many times Mozin, he shouts, he screams, Hayya alal fala, hayya alal fala. And unfortunately, 80 or 70 percent Muslims, they don't respond. Maybe they come in under this ayat when they were told in dunya to pray, they didn't respond. And then he said, because of this ayat made me to get up and perform two rakat nafira. And you know, Ali radiyallahu anhu, Ali radiyallahu anhu, he said, when you miss your Fajr Salat, it is not about your sleep. It is not about your energy. Maybe you did something wrong last night or during the yesterday. Because of that wrong Amal curse didn't let you to pray Fajr Salat. Brother, this is very painful words. Very painful words. Please, Try to understand what I'm trying to say. Saying, according to Ali radiallahu This is not about your alarm. No. Ah. Look at his words. You did something wrong. Maybe you hurt someone. Maybe you looked at something haram. Maybe you heard something haram. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he snatched the tawfiq of Fajr Salah. So my brothers, in Ramadan and after Ramadan, same Lord, same Rabb, the one who gave me the tawfiq in Ramadan, why? Why after Ramadan cannot continue? Why I cannot continue? So maybe something wrong with my fasting. That's why Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, a lot of people, they will not be getting from their Ramadan, from their fast, except thirst and hunger. They will be not getting anything. And remember on the very same place, you heard from me and I want to repeat myself. And you probably, you heard from other scholars and I will finish my talk with this one. Very important. I shared with you that ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept me because we notice in Ramadan so many people they incline towards du'as and you know with one time of reading this du'a millions of rewards but they don't want to change their life and the result you can see right after Ramadan easily that they didn't change their life. So I said to you at that time, try to change your life. It's not about just good deeds. Let me perform in Ramadan, not seasonal Muslims. So this is a humble request to all of you, to myself. How? Let me tell you two things. How we can come back? First and important thing, environment. Keep yourself in the environment. And the best environment is the masjid. Keep yourself in the environment and perform five times salah. And second thing, Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Ahabbul amari ilallahi adwamuha wa in qalla. Don't, don't make so many high goals that you cannot do in the end of the day. The most dearest amal in the courts of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are those which are punctual. Maybe you were reading in Ramadan one juice per day. 
but at least read half juz after Ramadan. At least read one quarter. At least read two pages. Don't close your Quran for the rest of the year. Please share with others. This is not bayan. We want, and this is the real challenge. When there is environment, obviously everyone is doing. When there is no environment, challenge, challenge, no environment. Now this person comes forward, then Allah appreciate. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala appreciated the people who accepted Islam before Makkah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala clearly mentioned that those people who accepted Islam after Fatah and Makkah, they are not the same with those Muslims who accepted Islam before Makkah before the victory of Makkah. So now we don't have the environment. Now this is the challenge time, very challenging time. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, come forward and then you will get the rewards. You will get the same sweetness of the Iman. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us a tawfiq to do so. Jazakallahu khair.